this is birthed through the Father. It will never fail. Never. You know why? Because the Father himself took us strategically through the birthing process of our destiny. The Father. And so I want to encourage you on today to submit your will to the will of the Father and tell that enemy, shut up because I have the victory. Because the Father has given me the victory. And it may look a little unorthodox and all out the box. We're not putting our daddy in no box. I refuse, and you should refuse to put your father on limitations when he's a limitless God. There are no limitations in our father. Hmm. There's no, I mean, absolutely no limitation in the Father. And so today, you better get that devil his eviction notice. You better walk in your authority that God has given you. Because let me tell you something. That enemy will flee. You better get your garment of praise on. You better worship the Father. Hello, somebody. You better thank him for what he has done in your life. Open your mouth. Because the enemy don't want you. He wants your mouth shut. And when you open your mouth, he wants you in a sorrowful state. I'm, I'm, I'm going through it. And it, because he glories in that. He he that that's when he you know have fun. You understand what I'm saying? He glories in that. But see, but when God allows you to rise above the the, the situation, the enemy becomes confused. And you know, it say resist the devil and he'll flee. He will flee. He will flee. The devil will flee. Yeah, he will get somewhere and go have about five to twenty seats. Hello. Because he know that he have lost ground in your life. Don't, don't give him, don't let him play on the territory that God has given you. Don't let the enemy play on the territory that God has given you. Hello. Cause let me tell you what the enemy do. You can't do it. You don't have the resources to do it. You don't have the people to do it. You, you can't do it because you're not qualified to do it. The devil is a liar. Who God has called, he will equip. Hello? You better tell that enemy to shut up and go back to the abyss of where it come from. You better know whose you are. You better know who your real daddy is. Because your real daddy ain't going to ever leave you out there. Hey, hey, hey. Now, the real father is not temporary. The real father is everlasting. See, when you know that type of father, you'll never be without. You'll never be without. You'll never be bankrupt in your spirit, man. See, let me tell you something. I tell people all the time. You want to be wealthy all the way around. You don't want to just be wealthy <clears throat> financially and bankrupt in your spirit. Because when the enemy tries to come at you in different ways, <clears throat> you have nothing to fight with. So you need to be well-rounded. Wealthy. Your soul... Need to prosper 
as well as whatever God has graciously blessed you with financially. But you, you, you can't be financially wealthy and bankrupt spiritually. That's why people go commit suicide and they got a lot of money. The enemy just take them on out. You would think, you know, some folks like us who, you know, work on a job or may live from check to check. You would think, ooh, we, uh, ooh you understand what I'm saying? Why we haven't went and killed ourselves yet? Because we are not bankrupt spiritually. And we know that the Father will provide because he's Jehovah Jireh. We don't depend on our own self. We depend on the Father. That's why I tell you, tell the enemy, shut up. <laughs> you the lost territory. He done lost territory. You better go out there and take the territory that the Father has given you. It's people waiting on you to be on your territory. See, if we seek ye the kingdom of God and his righteousness, then the, all the things will be added unto us. But we got to seek him first. Seek the kingdom and his righteousness. Get on your post. Get back on your post. If the enemy is running around trying to seek whom he can devour, why are we not on our post? We got to be on our post for the Father. And so the enemy has no power. We're not giving him our power. We're not giving him our authority. We we just not doing it. We we just we we not we we not giving him no power. We not giving him the authority. Uh we we just not giving it to him. <clears throat> and let me tell you something. When you do what the Father has told you to do, no demon in hell can overtake your life. Hear me. When you have done what the Father has required of you, no demon in hell, his imps, <laughs> nada can overtake your life. They will, there will be no disgrace. There will be no shame to your life when you are totally obedient to what the father has called you to do. You will be sitting back laughing because the enemy, the devil is confused. He didn't win. The devil will never win in your life when you are obedient to the father. So I pray that your day is blessed. Don't close your mouth to what God has told you to do. Because that agitates the enemy. When you do what you're supposed to do, the enemy is agitated. Agitated with you. But the, the, the fact of the matter, it don't have the power to overtake you when you are covered by the Lord himself. We're moving targets. It may come one way and God move us another way. Hey! <laughs> you better know that you know that you know that you know who the Father is in your life. I said, Lord, my DNA is you. Because, <laughs> see, Jesus didn't play. Jesus didn't play. He didn't have no fear of no demons. 
No, he knew what his assignment was from the father. And see, he didn't let whatever came against his life stop him from doing what the father had commissioned him to do here on earth. And that's to die for sinners like you and me. So what am I saying? Are we any different? No, the father has chosen us. So we must walk in obedience. And guess what? God makes us worthy to the call he has upon our life. God does. Stay humble. Stay submissive to the Father. But walk bold. In the things that God has called you to do. Yes, we must walk humble because we must have compassion. But when it comes to the devil, it's time to walk bold. We, we can't pacify and just let him just pass on by doing whatever to destroy the lives of us and our family, both biological and spiritual. We got to put on the whole armor of God. What is it? The kingdom of heaven suffers violence and, and, and take it by force. We got to take this thing by force. Amen. I don't mind studying like Moses. God know what's in my heart. I want to see people fully walk in their God-given purpose. So I've already told the Father, just gird me up for what you would have me to do in the earth realm. Because people need to know who you are, God. And that you love them and you got their back. Regardless of what goes on, the Father got your back. And so with that being said, I thank God for your life. I bless God for your life. I'll be traveling next week to Israel. If you have any prayer requests, just inbox me. I will be praying. I pray now, even over here in Texas. But I will be taking those prayer requests over to Israel, to the Welling Wall. Because I believe that God is going to do something amazing. He's even doing something amazing now. So listen. I love you with the love of the Father. Shalom. May God's peace be with you. Every step of the way. Don't shut your mouth and don't shut down your God-given purpose. Love you guys to life. I want to say good morning, family, to everybody. I love you. I love you. I love you, my family. Thank you for those who tuned in. I'm just being obedient. I'm just being obedient. And, and what I'm learning is when God places something on my heart, I have to go ahead on and do it. You know, so if I come out and you don't catch me in the beginning when I'm saying hello, family, I'll say it at the end. But when I'm doing what the Father has told me to do, I can't stop at that moment. I can't stop until I finish what it is that I'm supposed to be doing. So now I say to all my family that join in, God bless you. I love you. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Thank you so much. And know that the Father loves you. And again, I say, send your prayer requests. Women of valor, we will be going to Israel. And I love you with the love of the Lord. Anybody that really knows me, know my heart that I really love people. And God loves you. And that's the kind of love that we should have. The enemy has no power because the love of God is covering our lives. And so with that being